In this lesson, we're going to talk about the distance from a point to a line and also going to look at the distance in between parallel lines. Before we get going on that, we're going to do a little bit of review on just calculating the distance between two points. I want you to think back to the distance formula for this. I'll write that up here. We have to subtract our x values. We have to square them. We also have to subtract our y values and square them. Add that all together and then take the square root of everything. Plug in my numbers. Take my x's. I'm going to subtract them like I said. Then I have to subtract my y values. Square them. And then don't forget the square root. I've watched many students forget to put that on and then they end up with the wrong answer at the end. Subtract these, we end up with 4. We have to square it. Subtract these, we end up with negative 3. Square it. Take the square root of both sides. We end up with 16 here. We end up with 9. Add them together, we get 25. We need to calculate the square root of that. And we find out that the distance between our two points is 5 units. Just a little review, because we're going to use that coming up here shortly. Another piece of review, and this one, uh, if you're doing this without printed notes, I want you to draw a line, like I say, that would be my red line, and draw a point that's not on that line, that would be my blue point, and then what we're going to do is we're going to construct a line perpendicular to the red line through that blue point. Something that we've done in the past, again, a little piece of review, you're going to need your compass, you're going to want to put the compass, the point of the compass on the point, and open up that compass so it hits the line at more than one point. In other words, it's going to have to hit it at two different points. I have it. Now I'll take that compass, put the point of the compass at one of those intersection points, and you can open this compass up as long as it's going to be longer than half the distance between the two intersection points. For example, that'd be way too short. It's not more than half. I'm going to go, oh, we'll just go here. That's more than half. And then you need to make an arc, and I always make the arc on opposite the opposite side of the line that the original point was on. And then go to the other intersection point with the point of the compass and make another one of those arcs. Don't change the compass setting at that point in time. What you've done now is you've created another point. You have the original point. You have the intersection point. We can connect those with a line, a segment, just about anything. Being it asks you to construct a line, I guess, in the original part, segment, arrays, and parentheses, I'm just going to use the line. And there you go, I have constructed a line perpendicular to my red line through my original blue point. Now depending on how your com computer screen is set up, uh, if it's set up like mine, it's going to look perpendicular. Now sometimes things get distorted as you go from one computer to the next, but you should be able to look at this on your paper and go, yeah, it actually looks perpendicular. Now let's get into something new. Here's what we're actually trying to do. We're trying to find the distance between a line my line M, and my point P. Now notice it tells me two points that are on my line. Oops, don't need that in there. I know negative 6, negative 9 is on my line, and I know 0, negative 1 is on my line. I'm going to plot those two points. There's the negative 6, negative 9, and there's the 0, negative 1. I'm going to make my line go through those two points. and extend it out so that I have more to work with. Extend it down here a little bit, and I'm still going through negative 6, negative 9, and 0, negative 1. Maybe need to adjust it a little bit. There we go. I'm also going to turn it red so it follows my color scheme. I also have to put in the point negative 7, negative 2. Come over here, negative 7, go down negative 2. There's point P at negative 7, negative 2. What you need to think about now is how am I going to calculate the distance from a point to a line? Well, distance from a point to a line has to be the shortest distance. And the only way to get that shortest distance is to find a segment perpendicular to your line that goes through your point. That's what we just got done doing. We're going to do the exact same thing, just we're going to be on the coordinate grid now. So bring your compass back, put the point of the compass at the point negative 7, negative 2. Open that compass up so it's going to hit the line at more than two points. I'll open that up. Oops, I did not want to do that yet. Just undo that little black arc. Open this up. There we go. Now I've got to make this arc. 
across the line. Uh oh, I suppose that's going to be too far down now. May have to undo that. Yeah. Sorry for the delay. We'll undo that. We'll bring it in a little bit. And we'll go like this. There we go. All right, wonderful. Have my compass, made my arc that crossed the line two times. Now I'm going to come back here put the point of my compass at one of those intersection points. And if you want, you can change the setting. I'll notice mine. It's opened up more than half the distance between the two points, so it's good. And then I'm going to make this arc out opposite side of the line that the original point was at. Come here, and I'll notice I'm going to the intersection of the arc and the line, not that point, negative 6, negative 9. And then I'm going to make the arc here. Slide this out of the way. I actually don't need it anymore, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And then I need to put a line that goes through my original point and through this intersection point. I'm just going to change the color of it so that I can see the difference here. We'll make it green. Now remember, we want the shortest distance from the point to the line. That's ultimately what we're looking for. And that's going to show up right here. Now I've taken this, this problem and it asked me to find the distance between a point and a line. Now I can just look at it as how far is it from blue point to purple point. Well, my purple point is at 1, 2, 3 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down. It's at negative 3, negative 5. I'm now finding the distance between two points. My problem has come down to that. What I want you to think about is go back here. I asked you to find the distance between negative 7, negative 2, and negative 3, negative 5, those two points. Well, that's exactly what we're doing now. So instead of me redoing the whole problem, I'm just going to steal everything that I did at the beginning. Oops, that is not what I wanted to do. I need to select it, not draw all over it. And I need to copy that, because I'm going to be lazy. You can write it all down. And then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to paste it. So here is all my work for this problem, as far as the distance part. We need to do the construction on the graph so that we could find this point. We already had this point. Then we just put it into our distance formula, and we find out that that blue point that we started with is five units away from the red line. My next one, I'm going to ask us to find the distance between two parallel lines. And I know these lines are parallel because I look at their slopes. They're both two. I have parallel lines. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to graph those two lines. I'm going to start with my first one that's red. And I notice that the y-intercept is negative 3. So I'm going to start at negative 3. The slope is 2. I can go up 2 into the right one, up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1, so on. Or I could go down 2 and left 1, down 2, left 1, and so on and so forth put my line in here, extend this up as far as I can make it go, and then I'm going to change the color of it to keep things easy for me to see, and do the same thing with the blue. Now this time, the y-intercept is 3, slope is still 2, so I go up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1, keep going, or I can go down 2, left 1, and continue this pattern forever and ever until I get enough points so I think I'm happy. And now I'm going to put my line in. Drag it down as far as I can. Change that to blue and then my color scheme is working out here. All right, wonderful. I have to find the distance between those two. Some people would go, well, Mr. Rude, let's just count here. Well, remember, when you're talking distance between a point and a line or the distance between two lines, you want the shortest distance. And clearly what I have drawn in there in the green is not our shortest distance. I'm going to delete that. And now, I want to take this and basically make it a problem like this. Let's turn it into find the distance between a point and a line. What I want to do is pick one point on either line. And I always like to pick what I call it's an easy point. And when I say easy, I look at for a y-intercept because one of the values in there is zero, specifically the x value. I'm going to pick... Uh, let's go here. This one's easier in my mind because I have a 0 for x and I have a positive 3 for the y value. I can ignore the blue line for the most part now. And I've changed my problem from find the distance between two points to now find the distance between my green point and my red line. 
it's not going to be any different than what we just did. Kind of broken record in this lesson. Get my compass out, put the point of the compass at the point I want my line to go through, open the compass up, make it cross my line two times. Now remember, we're ignoring the blue line for the most part here, for the time being anyway. So I just need that green arc to cross the red line at two points. Put the point of the compass at one of those intersection points, and then, oops, I'm going to have to go like this so that I can see it. I'm looking at this, and I think I need to open it up a little bit, and then I can make my arc. Bring it down here to the other intersection point. Don't change the measurement, and then make your arc. I'm not going to need this anymore, so I'm going to make it go away. Cut that out. Now I can connect this green point here with the intersection right here. You may not have been able to see that, but I'll get the line to go through there. From here to here, I need to make it a little adjustment. I'll be able to. You can just put your ruler on it, make it go through those two points, and you're set. So what I'm really looking for here is I am looking for. Let's go with purple. I'll probably we'll leave the line purple. But now I want to go to a pen, and let's go with well, let's go with this pretty color of orange. I'm looking for this point right here. Notice it doesn't happen at a nice integer value, so I'm going to approximate it to the best of my ability. I'm going to look over. I'm coming over one, two to the right, two and something. Now it doesn't look like it gets all the way to two and a half. Maybe about. I'm going to go with two point three. Comma. Now it's going to go up. It goes up one and maybe one. Po whoops, that's not what I wanted. One point. I would say approximately eight. So I have my. 2.3 comma 1.8 and then I also have my point up here which remember is at 0, 3. I need to find the distance between those two points and then I found the distance between my two lines. So go to distance formula. I take my x values, I have to subtract them and square them. I have to do the same thing with my y values, subtract them and square them. Now it's just a matter of plugging them in. My x value at the first point is 3, my y value at the first point, or excuse me, my x value is 0, my y value is 3, and then when you go to the second point, which I'm calling, the x value is 2.3, and the y value is 1.8. Now it's a matter of simplifying the mess. 2.3 minus 0, hopefully that's easy math for you. 2.3, 1.8 minus 3, you end up with negative 1.2. Square that. There we go. Now we'll have to get our calculators out. When I square 2.3, we end up with 5.29. Plus that negative 1.2 squared is 1.44. Still going to have to take the square root of the whole thing. Add the two together, we end up with 6.73, according to my math. We take the square root of that. And we find out we come up with an approximate answer. So I'm going to put the little approximate symbol because this is everything has been approximated. Approximately 2.59 units in between my red line of y equals 2x minus 3 and my blue line of 2x plus 3. Now, you may have come up with a little bit different value for this, which is obviously then going to change the value of this. In a problem like this, I'm not going to get too picky on this. As long as you come close with your 2.3, 1.8, I'm going to be happy. And my last example that I'm going to look at is finding the distance between these two lines. Well, I notice that y equals 5, that line. I know that that is a horizontal line. Look at your graph. Find every point on it where the y value is 5. Those are all those lines. I'm going to change my color of that one to red. Maybe. Let's try it again. Change the color to red. There we go. And then if I look at y equals 13, well, that's another horizontal line. Now, that's going to get up here wherever y equals 13. It's somewhere up here. And I want that one to be blue to represent my blue line. And I need to find the distance between it. Now, technically, we could do the same thing we did in the last problem. 
get the compass out and do all that. But what I want you to think about is what's perpendicular to horizontal? I'm sure hoping that in your head you said vertical. It doesn't matter where you go. Any one of these spots. I'm going to take that. I'm going to turn that into a green segment. I'm really trying to figure out how far is it in between the red and the blue. So I want to know how long is this green segment. I don't care where you put it. It's always going to be the same length. If I just put it right, a lot of people like to put it here. The x value doesn't matter whatsoever. All you got to do is focus on the y. So how far is it in between 13 and 5? Well, finding distance between two numbers, we just need to subtract. We end up with 8. Now, if you had it flipped around and did 5 minus 13, it would come out to be negative 8. Remember, distance is always positive. And you have it. Now, it's not really that much different if we go with x equals 5 and x equals 13. Just now you'd have two vertical lines. You'd need to find the horizontal distance. We would do the exact same thing. So, moral of the story is, if you want to find the distance between a point and a line, two lines, whatever it is, you're basically going to always bring it back to find the distance between a point and a line. Uh, you're going to have to do your construction. You're going to have to use your distance formula. All kinds of review in this, putting it all together, making one bigger problem. Good luck. If you have questions, let me know.